absolutely crucial. I don't care how old you are. If you are in your 20s and you're not sleeping well and then you're working out, do you know how much damage you're doing? You're just doing a lot of damage to your body. It's not recovering properly. Okay, so my friend, I'm sure she's had some good sleep and she has been hydrating, right? That's huge. And so, Constance, why don't we start on our knees and come down on your hands and knees. So I am still being her model because I really think it's important to get a visual. Everyone needs to get a visual. So let's see. See, I'm right here. All right. So you athletes, take it easy. Focus and move slow. This class is for recovery. So let's begin that recovery by focusing inward. Whenever we're playing a certain sport, we're very much focused outward and we forget about our bodies, but now it's time to bring them into focus. Let's put the hands under the shoulders, put the knees right under the hips, and we're gonna just breathe here, a couple of good ones. Notice your rib cage expanding when you breathe. As you exhale, lengthen out through the tail and the crown of the head, pushing the shoulder blades down and lifting your belly up. Think of that greyhound dog. So you're really locking in that perfect posture, creating that alignment, creating that interior focus for the entire class today. Let's take a breath here. On the exhale, Constance, let's lift out with the right leg. We're just going to reach out with it. We're not lifting the hip. We're lengthening it out. So pull it out of the socket. Breathe again. Exhale, reach out with your left arm. Pull it forward nice and straight. Keep that chin tucked. Push that shoulder down. Now what's working right now? Your supportive parts, right? Your right arm and your left leg. Very good. Stay right here. Take a breath. Exhale, lengthen some more. Keep the shoulders stable. And now we're going to open out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, bring your arm and leg out nice and high. So you're reaching, you're growing your extremities. Bring them back. Again, inhale. Eyes open, exhale, reach out. Keep the leg up. Good. And back. Inhale. One more time. Reach out. Feel your glutes. Move that leg. Hold it out. And then bring it back. Hold stable. And begin little circles with that back leg. Nice and stable. Good. So you're lengthening out. Exhaling completely. Change direction. We're going to do 10 more in this direction. So notice that, pause right there, Constance. Notice there's a lot of tightness here in the quads, right? She's just warming up and she's going to loosen that up. Right now it's getting tight. Bring your hand and knee down. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and reach out with the other leg when you're ready. Stabilize first. Inhale. Exhale, reach out with the left leg. Pull it out of the socket. Don't lift the hip. Breathe in. Exhale, reach out with the right arm. Great. So we want to lengthen those muscles. Let's stay here and breathe. Exhale, pull your tummy in. Lengthen your extremities away. Stretch them away. Keeping the chin tuck, looking straight down. Breathe in. Let's reach out now. Open the arm and leg out to the side. Keep that hip lifted. So stable. Come back. Reach forward, inhale, exhale, open out and away, stabilize your torso, great, let's do one more, reach, inhale, exhale, open out and away, come back and hold, challenge yourself here, making little circles with the back leg from the hip, we're trying to stabilize with the hip, trying to point the toe, and good. Let's go ahead and change direction with that. Breathe. Forcing more oxygen in there for balance. Really good. Bring the knee down, hand and knee are coming down. Let's do a nice shell stretch and lengthen out the back. And the back is crucial. We really want to stretch and relax the back after big workouts. Spine articulation and spine length. Let's come up real slow, pull your navel in, think inside your body. We are articulating, we are stacking vertebra here. We get to the C curve, and then we come up nice and slow. Check out Constance, she's got this one down. Bring in the chin up last. Good job. Let's lie on our backs, 
And again, this is recovery time, everyone. We are focused inside. We are just making our body feel better. Feet, knees, and hips are in alignment. Rest your body on the mat. Feel your body resting in the mat. Does your spine feel awkward or misplaced? Let's dig the elbows in the mat. Do a shoulder shrug and push your upper body up. So you're lengthening, making sure that spine is long. Now we're going to isolate the lumbar and the pelvis. Breathe in. Squeeze your glutes and tuck your tail. And I'm asking you to push real hard into the first three vertebrae there. Right down in the lowest part of the back. So really tucking, seriously tucking. It's a very important part of the core. Let's stay and breathe. Notice on the exhale, your ribs start coming down and you've really got to, you're hardening the rest of the core. We're going to add the upper body piece. Keep your tail tucked. Breathe in. Tuck the chin first. Kick the head up. Exhale, hold. Reducing the space between the ribs and the hips. Stay right here looking at your thighs. So we're really clamping down here. Strengthening our core. Lower with control. Release your glutes. Feel your spine rock back in a neutral lumbar curve. Now, for the sake of focus and learning, we're going to do that again. Then we're going to come up and work into the core with that really good base begun. Take a breath here. Squeeze your glutes and tuck your tail. Push those two low vertebra into your mat. Breathe in. Tuck the chin, blow, and lift the upper body, head, neck, and shoulder blades. Really good. Now we're going to do some little pulses here. This is not a simple exercise. As you're coming forward, you're just pushing down with the rib cage. Very isolated movement. Doing long, complete breaths. Five is best. I'm sure Constance is doing, can you hear her? She's got long, complete breaths going as she's activating this piece of the core. Lower with control then. All right, let's activate your back and your um, uh, low core, one knee at a time into the chest. Reach up with one leg at a time. Now this is where we're gonna kind of work more kinks out. It's nice and warm out, we're gonna be stretching. Flex your feet, and we're going to take the legs over. Now, exhale, take them over, hold your hips. Now, my dear friend has an injury on the heel, so one side, she's not going to flex really hard. She's going to pull on that injury. She's going to notice. Same with you. If you've got an injury, you're noticing and just kind of nurturing that area. Pushing into pain is very rarely good, but the pain of a good stretch is good, right? We like that feeling. Stay here and let those legs hang over your face and push through the heels and flex your feet, releasing, releasing tight muscles here, relaxing the tummy. All right, let's incorporate some things here. Take your legs to a V and then push them up to the sky. Today we get to actually look at the sky. Now lower your body with control. We're going to do four more. Take the heels together. Over we go. Blowing on the over, open to the V, push it to the sky, good, and lower with control. You don't have to open them that far, you can, but you don't have to. Squeeze heels, exhale over, and open, and press to the sky, and lower. We have two more of these. Heels together, <sighs> see if you can touch the floor, and open, and reach and lower heels together once more over and touch if you can and open and press to the sky and bring it on down really good one knee at a time comes down into the chest now we're ready to take the head off the mat i don't think constance needs to see these she's really good at them all right so one knee at a time is into the chest we're remembering the way it felt to really tuck the tail and push your low back into the mat. Now we're going to lift that upper body. Inhale, tuck the chin, then lift. Let's show them again, Constance, because I want you to do two movements here. Number one, lay on the mat and tuck the chin. Try to make double chins. Then number two, blow and lift. So that's it. We got it. Stay right here. Straighten the legs to the sky, and we're going to pump in the hundred. Pump, pump, pump. So everyone no matter where you're at in this one, this is the way I teach, you want to exhale completely. 
Now, if it doesn't hurt you, I want you to point your toes, Constance, if you can, and turn out at the knees. This is your classic Pilates legs. So she's pumping from the shoulders. Look at those muscles. This, this woman, it, she has so much health-wise going for her. She's super blessed. She takes really great care of herself. And you just got to love your body. You got to love it. You got to love it into health, right? Let's exhale completely. Two more good ones. So really stabilizing that trunk, increasing our core strength. One more then, right? And exhale. Knees in first, then lower the head. Beautiful job. One foot at a time comes down. So that was a little strenuous, right? So let's roll over onto our tummy and we're gonna just take it in another direction at first. Okay, we're gonna come on the forearms and we're gonna very much lift up from between the shoulders. Remember, as we come up on the forearms, we're pressing, ladies, pressing the pubic bone into the mat, tightening the glutes, stabilize, pull your belly up. We're gonna do some beautiful head turns. Watch the video if you haven't done this before. I want you to get the proper form. Turn the head to the left and we lift at the jaw and the ear. We inhale, we drop the chin and we slowly come across, releasing tension through the back of the neck and lift and there's a beautiful face. Hold it, lift and turn as far as you can, then inhale, exhale, drop and blow across your chest. Notice how she's keeping her upper body lifted from between the shoulders. She's doing a nice, slow, controlled circle. One more set, drop and roll across. And as you lift up, you're turning and you're turning as far as you can. You're really cranking that head to the right. Then drop and roll across on the exhale. And then that was good. So that was just a nice little respite from the harder movements. Let's take care of those beautiful quads there. My friend has really good muscle tone there, but that can get tight when you're running and working out like she does. Bending your knees. Here we go. Tap, 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 and down. Not too fast. I want you to really kick it hard. Two, three, and down. So you're just regulating your body. You're getting it back to that peaceful alignment. Right after the workout, Pilates is really essential for just taking the body back to kind of square one, the core, the length of the muscles, the correction of the imbalances. Excellent, excellent job. Let's just do one more constant. So those are wonderful. Lower down. All right, let's come all the way down. We're gonna strengthen the back and we're gonna lengthen and stretch. So reaching out with all four extremities. Just that flower pattern. We're good. All right. So we're lengthening here. So Constance is stretching in all four extremities, pulling forward and pulling backward. That is very important for alignment. Let's stay here and breathe together with Constance. Lengthen out through the heels like someone's got you. I'm going to do it. Someone's got you by the ankles. I won't grab your, your sword. <laughs> pulling, pulling, pulling and then someone's got you by the wrist and you're pulling, pulling, pulling. This is such a super chiropractic adjustment stabilizer too. All right, we're gonna lift all four. This is a weightlifting movement. Take breath in, exhale. We lift from hips and shoulders. Watch her, see how she's not bending her knees and lower down. Let's only do six, but do them well. Exhale and raise. See how she's keeping her chin tucked. She's not lifting her jaw. Lower, inhale here. Exhale, give it your all and really work those shoulders and hips. Four and lower, three more. Exhale, reach and lift, so strong. Three, four and two. Exhale, strong lift. See how she's correcting her body from athletics. Really good and one. Exhale and reach and lift and we hold. Three, four and now you're resting again. We're gonna do another strengthener. Okay, we're gonna take our arms into the Y like YMCA with the thumbs up, reaching forward. Now we're gonna do our shoulders up and down, right? Inhale, then exhale, push them down. Did you see that? That was exquisite. Do it again. <laughs> Reach, and we press the shoulder girdle, shoulder core down. Now we're gonna lift, keeping your little feet on the floor. That's a challenge. Inhale, lift the entire upper body and lift. That's a lot of weight four and rest. Let's only do six. Exhale and lift. Two, three, four. You can bounce too like Constance. 
exhale in, lift, two, three, four, so strong, believe it, and three more, lift, two, it's a lot of weight, come on, try it if you're just watching, and lift, two, three, four, rest, one more then, and exhale, two, three, four, rest, here, now we're going to give ourselves, again, a respite, right, we're going to gently push the hands in the mat, come on up, bring your body into your shell stretch, pick the one that feels best to you, if it's a child's pose, if it's the one like Constance is doing, where she's taking the knees apart, and comes way down into the pelvis, just, it's time for releasing and relaxing, and this is also where she is allowing her shoulders to fall apart, her face, head, neck, and shoulders. So we release everything in these. This is exercise. Releasing is part of it. It's the essential part. You can't miss on that, right? All right. Let's roll up gently. Watch how she does it now. She's pulling her tummy in. She's kind of peeling her spine back up, and then the chin comes up last. Perfect. All right. Let's take it to the side now. We are going to come on our knees on the side of the mat. So during athletics, we get tight, you know, different things happen. And so I thought tonight what we would do is take one leg out and bring both, make sure both hips are coming forward and your arms are out to the side. Beautiful, shoulders down. We're just gonna tip toward the long leg. Now in this one, if your hips are stable and you're not, your butt's not sticking out behind you, you want your hips right under your body, you're gonna feel right in the inner thigh. It's not gonna kill you, but you're definitely gonna feel that. And the other piece, take a breath, Constance. Exhale, lift your left arm up and give yourself a nice oblique stretch. This is essential. We get so tight in the arms, upper body, chest, head, neck. Let's do a couple more breaths for 30 second stretch here. Exhale, lengthen. It's a beautiful stretch too, isn't it? She looks fantastic. And that was wonderful. And let's stay right there and we're just going to bring both hands up and we're going to strengthen that low back. This is called candle. We're just like a lovely flame. We tip away from the long leg and then we raise the body back up. Let's do six good ones. When you tip out, I want you to hold it a bit. Okay. And then bring it back up. Excellent. Inhale, come out, hold it. Exhale, use your body to lift the weight of your body. That's crucial. And coming up, I'm going to make a slight camera adjustment so we can get a whole beautiful body in. What is it? Two more. And lift. Let's do one more then, just for me. Strong and lift. And back up she goes. Excellent. Let's take it right into advanced leg from here. We're stabilizing. We're lengthening. So we're coming up on the knee, hand behind the head. So for the first couple, just kick your leg up a little bit, Constance, because a lot of people can't get the leg up there, so this will help them to kind of get their body ready. And now we just, I want us to start with the kicking, so flex your foot. We're going to come forward and then reach back. Notice how stable her body is. We come forward and we reach back. So she's not bending her knee. She just has a lot of muscle mass there, so it looks a little bit like she might be, but she is Stable. Oh, a teeny bit of wobble right there. But we're always correcting ourselves in Pilates. That's the beauty of it. Making your body more perfect, younger, better, more healthy. Ready for the next fun soccer game in our case. Let's do one more. That would probably be about six or seven. We come back. Take a break here if you like, but not Constance is not going to. Bring your leg back out. We're going to do ten little circles. Ten, nine. So every little circle is a lift. Lift. Five, four, breathe. <sighs> Feeding that oxygen. Change direction gracefully. Oh boy. Now, if you can't do this, keep practicing. You'll watch your body grow younger. I know you will. That's what you will do. Tell me when you're done. done. All right, rest here. Now, this usually is a bit of um, stress on the back. So let's do a shell stretch just because. She's recovering from some stress, so she doesn't want to push and push until she wants to just take nice little mini breaks. Let her body, allow your body to stay in a calm state. We're not activating adrenals in this class. We're calm and centers, centered. 
Now, when you're playing soccer or when you're doing a lot of other sports, you have to really, you know, really kick in. You know, Zumba, any other active sport, come up nice and slow the way you do. So pretty and fabulous. Okay, we are just going to go ahead and transfer to the other side then. Okay, so we begin making sure that the tail is tucked, not sticking your buns out behind you. Beautiful arms. Let's do a shoulder up and down just to show everyone shoulders up, and then we press them down. That's where they are. That's where they stay. Now we tip so beautifully toward that leg. So this is a really gentle yet thorough stretch. We're staying here with that achy, stretchy feeling on the inner thigh for 30 seconds. The other day I was teaching it and I had a, a tapestry underneath because it felt comfortable and the tapestry slipped and I just pulled the, pulled the inner thigh muscle pretty pretty well. So so you got to take it easy on these powerful stretches, right? You got to just know what your, um, what your best limit is and stay there and at least 30 seconds. That's how the muscles can change. If you just stretch for 10 seconds, that's fine. It helps a little, but it doesn't really lengthen the muscles. So let's do a couple more breaths to make sure we hit that 30 second mark. On this next breath, let's take that hand and reach it up to the sky. I forgot to remind you. So we're also adding our beautiful oblique stretch. So pretty, so tall. Correcting these imbalances as we go. Okay then, we are ready to pick up the other arm and gracefully go into our candle. We lean out. And we exhale and pick it back up. We lean out to the side. Now all these muscles in her low back. Pick it up. Four more. Lean out. Now look what she's using. Everything down here. The muscles we don't use that much. There are not a, there are not a ton of Pilates exercises that really take that into account. I think there's one more, right? Yes. So six. And sorry about the stuff going on. I'm just going to keep my voice close to this. All right, we are ready to maneuver right into the advanced legs, hand down. Now, we're keeping the hand behind the head and the chin up, people, so don't look down. Here we go. Do a few kicks up. Get your legs up there, people. And now we're going to start those graceful circles for 10 little... Oh, no, we start with the um, kicking forward. All right, sorry about that. Flex and reach. And reach. So we're not going fast, right? We flex, exhale, reach, inhale, point, and super lovely. Look at that form, and reach, inhale, back, and reach. So she's not moving her torso, right? This is not easy. She makes it look easy, but it's not. Let's do just a couple more, and back. Let's do one more, forward, and reach, back, and reach. Bring that straight leg out and lift, and little circles. Every circle is a lift. So you, when, when I do little circles a lot, because it's so fantastic for activating all those muscles in the hip, using your low core, using your obliques, using your back, you're just using a lot here. Change direction, you probably did about 10. Fantastic, reaching, lengthening that leg out. Woohoo! great job. All right, let's come down into shell stretch because that can be kind of make, making the body tight. Go ahead and enjoy it. Don't worry about wasting time. This is your time. Do the thing that feels good and then be in kind of a state of savoring it. Like, yeah, the back feels really good. Yeah, that leg feels really strong. Stay in that state of, oh, this is great, you know? It just makes everything better in your life. Roll up gently. Beautiful. Okay, Constance, let's come down on our back again. And we're going to move into some classic core movements. So we start with our knees bent down on the back. And we're going to go through a nice series here. All right, let's make sure that your back doesn't feel bunched up, right? So you're going to tuck your tail, try to lengthen out that lumbar. Just get yourself feeling very comfortable first. We're going to do five good roll-ups. Take the arms back behind the head. Rib cage stays. Nod the head and lift up. Blow. Notice her breath all the way across as she comes up for the first one. Now notice that first one was a little bit wobbly, so your body says, wait, what? And then it says, oh, there she goes. Much more focused and controlled. Begin that exhalation when you nod your head. Here we go. Now 
Notice how she's slowly coming down, really finding her limit and then coming down because you're strengthening your back there. Was that five yet? All right. Now, when we get to the top of this, we're going to stay up there. Okay, so we're not going to take, I'm not going to take you into some, all these acrobatic type movements. What we're doing is recovering here. So go ahead and straighten your legs out and flex your feet. And we're going to do a couple of nice, perfect spine stretch forwards with your legs together, with your feet flexed. All right, you take your arms up just like ballet. We're doing this one. So we're just coming forward with the crown of the head, shoulders down, beautiful chest lifts. Exhale as you come forward, bring the crown of the head toward the knees. Stay here, feel a belt around your waist, imaginary belt pulling you from behind. You can bounce too if you'd like. I'll show you what that feels like. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. She's going to roll back up, articulating back up to super tall. Now she's coming forward again. Exhale, that rubber band connected from the head to the toes. And she's got this nice wide belt, imaginary belt, pulling from behind. So she's pulling her belly in while she's growing the crown forward. Stack it up for one more. You don't have to bounce. It's really good though. Oh no, I'm, I'm saying oh. to the camera. <laughs> this is good. I, bouncing is more advanced, okay? Coming forward, exhale. Take that belt and pull from behind. Imagine someone's pulling you. Really feel that bend in that lumbar, right? Good. Now we're going to go ahead and take some straight leg roll-ups, starting forward, and we're going to come back nice and slow, and Constance really likes to do the more advanced version, and so she can. Okay, arms back, breathe in. Now the head, up she goes. Great. So if you're athletic, go ahead and try this. Keeping the hands up helps you to carry more weight through your core as you're coming forward. Let's do eight. So if this is two, carry it down. Listen to the breath. She's coming forward on the breath. Okay, so when you're coming down, you're taking it in. When you're coming forward, it's like you're pushing the air out as your core squeezes it out there. All right, we've got two more for six. Good. So nice and slow on the down. So notice what we're doing right now. We are correcting imbalances we're getting our focus back inside the body. Let's just do one more. We're going to keep it right there now, Constance. Just keep it right there. Take your heels apart outside the mat, and we're going to do this beautiful one that's sort of like the soft or advanced people for the 20-somethings, which we are probably not. <laughs> so let's take that pinky finger, that cute little blue one, and we go all across to the right pinky toe and see if you can reach that. Now we're gonna come all the way back down on our back and make an X, tight glutes here. Exhale, come up and forward and cross over and lengthen, keep that foot flexed. Resist and come back, let's do it again. Exhale, come up and cross and back. Notice your breath, using your glutes to lift the body, you feel it? Really using your back and your glutes. Twist and reach and one more set. Exhale, twist and reach. And this one, we're gonna stay right okay, there, Constance. More. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I love it. Start it on that one, there we go. <laughs> so now she's cooked on both sides, right? You gotta do it evenly, I appreciate that. So we're gonna stay right here with this, and now we're gonna come up and we're gonna do the saw, okay? So we're gonna lift up to the side, and center, and twist, and exhale. This time let's pulse three times. Lift and center and twist and reach and reach and reach and lift and center and twist. Exhale. <laughs> lift. Chest up there and twist and one and two and three. Now what is she stretching here for the past two types of exercises? The lats, sides of the back. Really great. One more set unless I'm wrong, and if I am, correct me please, and lift and center, twist, and one and two, and wonderful, come up. All right, place your hands down. Let's go for the upside down push-ups, which we love. Really working the upper body, opening the chest up. Let's do eight, exhale and press. Two, three, four, lower inhale, up, 
two. Now you can sit between these, lower, or you can just kind of rest it. You don't have to sit all the way down. Four, push. So good for the chest. So many women at our age get very weak in their upper body and it's not necessary. You don't have to be weak. You know, just come to my Pilates classes. They're not all this hard. Everyone starts somewhere. You know, Constance couldn't do this when she started. She learned how to do it. Now she loves this movement. She's a lot older. She started a few years ago. Good job. Okay. Well, what do we want to do now? Oh, let's start again. Working more weight into the shoulders. We're going to do a side plank and try to lift and lower the legs. Okay. And I've done plenty of those recently, so I'm glad I'm not modeling. Okay. Because I know, here's, here's the point on recovery, because I know that when you're recovering, you have to recover. And there was a time when I was teaching about like five Pilates classes a day out of financial necessity or what I thought was financial necessity, but it was not good for me. That contributed to adrenal fatigue and just, just damaging the body more than helping it, right? So what we want to do is take breaks and rest. And so I already taught this one last night and this morning, so I'm not going to teach it tonight. I'm going to watch. I mean, I'm not going to model it. I'm, going to just, I'm just going to teach it. So why don't we do this, Constance? We're going to just start by finding that side plank in the most graceful manner. And now breathe here. Lift, inhale. Exhale down. So at first you feel pretty nervous, right? But then you, your body kind of, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just picking it up, bringing it down. Tremendous amount of focus. Great job. Breathe big. Breathe extra. Flood yourself with oxygen on these balance exercises. All right. See if you can do one more for me. And lift. And that was fantastic. All right, bring the hip down, and we're just gonna come up and over four times, just moving weight into the shoulder. I'm gonna do the first one with you, we'll come to you. Your top foot is in front, people. Your hand is up, you're looking up. Press, exhale. Over, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist, stay long. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it down with control. You need all those breaths. Exhale, over. And lift, inhale, twist, exhale, lift. If you feel dizzy, you don't. Exhale, down. The reason you need those two more is on the down, there's a lot of control that you need to, to lower the body with control and not thump and fall. Exhale, slowly down. That's the hardest part of this movement. Once more, you're really strengthening your arms here. And reach and twist and beautiful. And lower. Good enough. Let's go on into um, Pike. Do some things here. Again, in our recovery from whatever we're doing, we have to move the legs so beautifully. So we're going to go right into our double leg lifts. Hand in front. Keep your legs forward. Condense your tummy. Squeeze up. Lower. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lower. Look how slow she's going. Do the best you can. Trying to squeeze those legs together. Exhaling down. Let's say this is number five. <laughs> and six. Let's do ten. I do a lot of these. Seven. Now watching. She, her body isn't lurching up. It's because she's got a deeply strong core. right? But if your body is right now, it'll get better. When you watch yourself do it and your body's no longer lurching up, good. Then you will know that your core is very much improved. For now, we need to, um, what am I going to do on this one? Um, okay, so we're recovering. Let's lift and point the leg, point up, do my silly foot, and then flex on down. So I want you to just do these slow. I want you to lengthen. I want you to just feel that ankle roll. So we got to keep those ankles strong. You know, too many ankle sprains. That it's unnecessary. You don't have to sprain them. Just keep them stronger. Let's do one more of those. Then we'll be kicking forward and pause and double kick forward. And good. So I want you to just really find the place. You didn't have to do that. Where you are completely stable. Everyone has a different link forward they can kick. Stabilize from the hip to the shoulder and then kick as far as you can. A couple more. That's great. And we are going to do an extra quad stretch. One more. 
best quad stretch, reach back, then bend the knee, hold your ankle and notice the alignment. You can see yourself, Constance, the alignment. Your hip is in alignment with your knee. You could bring your, your foot down very slightly. And just, you want to be able to feel this beautiful stretch in all the muscles in front of the thigh. We want to hold it. We want to just relax here with it. Allowing, allowing the body to feel good, allowing it to recover, allowing it to realign itself. That is what we do. Okay. Looking beautiful on this beautiful day. Okay, bring both legs together, and we're going to go ahead and push up then. We're going to go over to the other side, and we're going to get our upper body strong, and we're going to try that crazy balancing act. <laughs> okay, here we go. Trying it out. Pick it up, and carry it down, and lift. Look at that. Exhale down. Now, if you can only pick your foot up six inches, that's great. You're activating all the same muscles as Constance is. Let's just do two more. Lift. So you can see this is not easy, right? She's not, it's not just flowing real easy. That's the beauty of it, sitting on down. And we are ready to give ourselves this beautiful reach up and over. Exhale, push up and over. Use that breath, use that arm, reach. And we lift. We twist, inhale, lift, carry the body down, and again, exhale over, see how pretty you look, lift, and twist, and you can do this video with yourself, Constance, right, yeah. if you like, at some point, yeah, everybody, just subscribe, why not, subscribe to this, tell your friends, especially your girlfriends who are over 50, that's us, <laughs> With a club. Is it one more for four? Yes. Over. Lift. Rotate. Some of us are over 60. <laughs> Good job. All right. How did I finish this morning? It was really nice. Oh, yeah. We got to do legs. We're doing legs. Good. So we get in our pike position. Remember, you people keep your legs up in front of you. Go ahead. We're doing our double leg lifts. Double leg lift, squeeze and lower slow. Four, I like this one because it's so strength building at so many levels. You've got your inner thigh, you've got your entire legs, all this leg apparatus. You've got your torso, you've got your obliques in action, you've got your core. Great, now we're gonna do point up and flex down. Point up. Flex down. This is also an ankle exercise. I want you to come up, lengthen your heel away. Point up without rocking that hip out of the socket there. What I mean by that is don't tip back when you're coming up. One more. Point up. Come down to flex. And we're kicking forward. Really good. Reach. Now notice how Constance is working out. Like if you had a, a head shot, if you didn't have that little foot kicking for you wouldn't know her leg was moving. But she's so stable. This is the goal, stabilizing your torso and making your spine more flexible. That's what you want. You want the opposite, right? You want your spine to be flexible, not stiff. Let's do a couple more and then enjoy that quad stretch. And flex and flex. Let's go ahead then. We bend that leg. Oh boy. We participate in the stretch by long exhalation lengthening out through the knee and trying to press your hip flexor area forward on this one and don't let up on the achy feeling of stretch you're creating longer muscles you're changing the muscles in the front of the hip really important for back for your back so this is why physical therapy this is why doctors don't recommend my Pilates class. They recommend physical therapy. Why? Because they're connected with physical therapists. And that way they can get prescription, they can all get paid, it's great. But if we're doing this stuff, you know, there's not as much need for physical therapy. 
because you're already preparing the body. You're already balancing it out. This is hit me injury free since I started. I wish it was Oh, that is beautiful. So Constance, I don't know if you could hear, she was saying, can you say it again? This is the doing Judy's Pilates class has kept me injury free since I started all those years ago. What, six, six, so? six yeah. seven? Yeah. So yeah, protecting ourselves. We need to protect ourselves, especially over 50. Okay, um, I'm not sure what time it is, but um, what would you like to finish off with? Uh, something with a twist. Okay, I was, oh, I had incorporated that into the side series right. before. Okay. All right, what if we do this tonight? I'm gonna come and join my dear friend, my dear Matt, and we're going to do a twist called the open book. Okay, you're not going to see me very well, but we're going to do it together. So what we do here is we lie on our side with our knees bent, coming forward. And this is a relaxation position, okay? We're not exercising anymore. This is a beautiful exercise that I made up. Just help us release and have some good images in our mind before we go home. So in this position, you want to pull your navel in. You want to bring your shoulder down. She's really good at that. Bring your hands together in front. Now we inhale. Exhale. Pick up your top hand. Bring it up and across. You'll see me joining her here. Watch your hand. Keep your knees together and go slowly. Add some breath as you reach out. Oh boy, this feels good today. I hope I'm not going to hit you in the face again. Wow. <laughs> so as we're here, our eyes might be closed, but in our case, we like them to be open. Just then we can see the sky. The key to muscle length is complete exhalation. Let's do one together. So you are imagining that you are a open paperback book. It's open to your favorite page. And it's lying on your beach chair in the sun. The sun is coming down. And it's making that book so it's completely flat open to that favorite page. So that warmth coming down, release through the pectoral arm. Oh, you see that mallard? <laughs> and so right, right now I'm feeling it in certain parts of my back, which is really good. It's, it's correcting some little tight areas. A lot of times we're correcting areas in the front of the chest, the front of the shoulder that get tight from normal life, driving, typing, etc. Here's the addition. Open the hand and reach out. Open it as big as you can. Feel your hand. Feel the muscles in the top of the arm and all the way down toward the wrist. Now move your hand up and down slowly like you're washing the window. Feel those small little stretches in the arm. This is how we keep our arms youthful and, and flexible. So we want to really focus on opening the hand. Feels so great. Long exhalation here. Now, if your knees have come apart a little bit, that's okay. You don't want to duct tape. You can't really do that. But it does help to try to keep them together. All right, so you've had a nice rotation. Now, what we do is we watch the hand come across. Inhale. Watch your hand come up and across. And here's the kind of interesting part. Keep your spine long. You're watching the hand come over. Now, imagine you're squeezing a big beach ball. Notice your shoulder muscles tensing up here. You're compressing that beach ball. It becomes smaller until it's the size of a basketball. You're really pushing that shoulder. You're kind of resisting. Then it becomes the size of a, like a bocce ball. Your hands touch. And then I want you to completely release the shoulder. Let it go limp, fall apart. So you're really learning that contrology that Joe Pilates tried to teach us. Where we're learning when to completely engage and when to completely allow the muscles to release. Great, so that's one side. Now you can flip over or you can uh, come to the other side of your mat, which is what I'm going to do so I can face the little microphone on the camera. Your knees are up to your belt line. Your spine is nice and long and straight. And one hand is open in front. The other hand is on top of it, shoulder down, tummy in. Long, straight spine. Breathe in. Looking at the hand. Exhale. Bringing it up gracefully across. Noticing your body turning, 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 and that chest opening. 
one thing that I've learned in Pilates is that when you go slow and keep going, you actually go further. When you think you're going from point A to point B in a stretch, the B point is usually not as far, so we're really opening here. Lengthening, turning out, looking at the open hand, so you're actually rotating right up into the neck, the cervical spine. Now for me on this side, my hand feels very tingly, like a little electric shock. That's all myofascial release. That's really good stuff. Breathe. Exhale completely. Kind of open up out into fingernails. If you like, you're moving that arm slowly up and down, feeling even more stretch. Beautiful. We're watching hummingbirds and bees and little birds and waterfowl. <laughs> And even though it's a cloudy day, it's just beautiful. Sky is God's gift. Art, right? Yeah. Noticing what it feels like to you. You might have a certain area that would pinch up or you need to really lengthen and breathe into that. Now we're looking at the hand. Our chin is tucked. You inhale. We exhale as we reach up, try to touch the clouds, watch the hand come across, and then we imagine that big exercise ball, squeeze it. So we're pressing down into the shoulder, we're kind of resisting, we're making that ball smaller and smaller. Really feel the shoulder activate here. You are creating muscle mass with your own mind. When your fingers touch, you release everything and melt like ice, melting all falling apart here. Now Constance, I just want you to stay in that position where you're just falling apart, lying on your side. And while she's there, I want you all to stay there too. And I'm just going to uh, just chat with you a little bit. Um, JudyFarmer.com. Subscribe and share. I want you to feel better when you do my classes. Leave a comment. Let me know what kind of class you want. I'm also learning functional nutrition, which is like the, the thing the very best thing for the long-term health of the human body, working with doctors. So check on my website, click the yellow button, and you can schedule a time to talk to me about that. What is that about? How can that help me? And I can just give you some uh, helpful hints, um, see what you would like to do, if you'd like to practice some things with me. Also, the Pilates schedule is on judyfarmer.com. Canton, Michigan, if you're ever around here, give, shoot me a text, the number's there or call and you can show up at one of these classes. They're very small. This is very nice and private and uh, just peaceful. Really nice time. So thank you for coming and Constance, just pick up your hand and wave. Don't, don't rush to get up and have a wonderful day or wonderful evening.